Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a text shortcut on Android 8.0. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do is go to Apps, now go to Settings, scroll down, go to General Management, now go to Language and Input, now go to On Screen Keyboard and Samsung Keyboard, go to Smart Typing, now you want to make sure that predictive text is turned on. If you don't have it turned on, then you won't be able to access the option for text shortcuts. So I'm going to turn it off and show you guys what happens. Alright, so now I turned it off and auto replace and text shortcuts are now grayed out and you can't use them. Now go to text shortcuts. Alright, so it says create shortcuts for frequently used phrases. Type a shortcut to see it as a text suggestion. For example, you could set example at samsung.com to be suggested wherever you type email. Now click on add. Once you do that, this window opens. It says add shortcut, and then it says shortcut and expanded phrase. So you're going to enter a shortcut and then enter the expanded phrase. Alright, so for this example, I'm going to set the shortcut to YT, and the expanded phrase is going to be YouTube. So I'm going to type in YT under shortcut, and then under expanded phrase, I'm going to type in YouTube. Now click on Add, and go back. Alright, now I'm going to show you guys how to use the text shortcut that you just created. So I'm going to open a new text message. Now for security reasons, I'm not actually going to show any of my contacts or anything in the video. So I'm just going to go in to send a text message. Alright, so now I'm in the new message screen. I'm not going to bother putting in a recipient right now. I'm just going to go to enter message. And I'm going to type YT. As you can see, once I do that, underneath it, a few different options show up. So we have Yet, YouTube, and YR. So I'm going to click on YouTube. As you can see, that automatically changes it. Alright, so that's how you add a text shortcut on Android 8.0. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you in my next video.